Alright, hello, welcome to my channel. Now we're just going to roll a die and we're going to see which side is up. Alright, take a nice deep breath and it is 6.08. Meaning it's time to wake up to your higher and spiritual truth. Okay, and the up, oh, we're looking into Virgo. Yep, we got some Virgo. Oh, no, this is Scorpio. Oh, I already did Scorpio, so we're going to... This. There's a lot of water energy in here. Okay, so we got... This is... What sign is this? Is this Capricorn again? Did we already do Capricorn? Um, yep, we did Capricorn, so we're going to have to roll the die again. I'm sorry. All right, sorry, come on. What's going on here? Here, go. <laughs> Capricorn again. Nope. Well, I'm a Capricorn, so I'm going to take it from me. I'm going to take that this reading is going to be for me as well, okay? Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. We're looking at Aquarius, and I actually done, I just did Aquarius, so I'm going to have to do it again. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Gemini. About time. I did Gemini too. All right, so what are we doing? What are we doing here, Michelle? Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Bye. And Gemini. That's not Gemini. Aquarius. Oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, fire and all the, all the energies are here today. Okay, it seems to me that I'm going to do an open reading for all signs. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting, I'm going to do all signs. So I'm going to take it as, I'm going to stay with the number four. And something tells me with this number four, there's something in regards to a parental figure. Because I know the fourth house represents parental figures. Or it can represent something in regards to a domestic issue. Or, are, um, or maybe that's the, that's the issue that's at the heart of your question. Or there may be new land or inheritances on the horizon. Or this house also can represent some kind of ending for you. So this is to all the signs, all the 12 zodiac signs. This reading is for all the signs. It's going to be a general reading, meaning it may not resonate with you. That's why it's general. Pretty normal, right? Um, however, I would always use my intuition regardless because the way I see it for me, if I get chills, if I feel some kind of sensation throughout my body, my mind, any pictures come to mind, I would take that as my curiosity and my gut and I would follow that and I would see the message in it. Also, if you're drawn to watching this video today, there is a huge message message in there for you. <laughs> yep, 611, that's Gemini. Um, okay, well... Let's begin. Let's see what's going on and see what we can resolve here for you guys. All right. All right. Well, how can I begin this amazing reading? I'm going to begin by taking a sip. It's just coffee. I'm actually going to pause the reading and I'll be back in a few. All right. I'm so sorry, guys. I had to. I had a little interruption really quickly, but I am right back. It was. Only, it only took me about two minutes. So yes, we're gonna do some readings for all these signs because apparently, after these, I mean, astrology and spirit has a message for every each and every one of these zodiac signs. And like I was saying, this is general. This is a general reading keep that in mind if it doesn't resonate for you or your sign that's fine i mean look at your birth chart there's your sun moon rising and venus and all that has a message maybe you're a cross watcher and there's a message that you can relate for your person and something's telling me to release your ex the time has come to clear your energy i don't know who this is for but yeah spirit wants you to know that and we'll we can figure out the energy that's uh, surrounding this card later other messages please there's oh there's a lot of love in here unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going 
Okay, so that is where you need to release your ex. That's the reason why. Because there's no chemistry. There's no chemistry. There's no um, attraction. There's not enough of that. And you need that. And true love. So when you release this, that's when you let the true love come in. This is a romance of a lifetime, okay? Accept and accept it and move on. Okay. We're gonna see what other messages we have for you. And I, by the way, I have intuitive, intuitively picked out all of the decks for today's reading. So that's a really good sign. It says that you're very close to achieving your goal. It's a glib gibbous moon. Pay attention. This is for you. I just saw the numbers 222. Two, two, so you're, it seems to me that someone watching this video needs alignment. Also, you need to know that you're in the right place at the right time. Okay, someone needs to work on their base chakra. And what I know about the base chakra, mm, so basically this is your root. And this chakra speaks about, it's on the base of your spine. It's the first chakra, it's all the way at the bottom. And basically you need to uh, take with you some red jasper maybe. Um, red jasper, some obsidian. I have both of these right here in hermitite. Also, this has to do with feeling a lack of um, general, like a lack of general, lack of like uh, physical energy. That you guys are, you guys are experiencing really low energy right now, or vitality, or something in regards to finding yourself highly, or you're finding yourself really dependent on someone. Maybe that's where this relationship issue is speaking of. Um, so it says to me that if you're experiencing some anxiety or some instability, yeah, these two gems are going to really help you out, okay? They're going to balance that uh, base chakra for you, that root uh, chakra, okay? Let's put this one right here for you. There's going to be some material and spiritual prosperity coming in for you. And this is, um, this is an earth energy. This is either, this can be for a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. And there, this is the Empress card. So there's, perhaps there's going to be some pregnancies involved in your life right now. Or maybe this is already a thing in your life and that's that can be the reason why things aren't working out for you um i could see that being an issue or maybe that you just maybe that's where this abundance is coming in this material and spiritual prosperity yeah you got the sun card the sun card speaks about happiness success fun and health mental conflict to a swords swords energy air so it seems to me that there's some mental conflict going on, but your day-to-day -day cards here are the sword energy and the earth. So I'm seeing there's this has to, you're stressed about, um, you're made, you've just made a choice. You've had a difficult, you just made a difficult choice in regards to something in regards to your money. And because of that, it brought in all this abundance and you're very close to achieving your goal, okay? The message is right for you, like it can't, too. And now you just gotta wait. Be patient. This is this is a wand energy. Okay. This card is a card of decisions and progress. So just know that. Be patient and trust the universe and know that you're gonna be okay. I also saw the numbers six two six. Twos are again. We spoke about two being a card of alignment. 
you're in the right place and the right time. And sixes are about reflecting. It's time to wake up, guys. It's time to hire your spiritual truth, okay? Hire your spiritual truth. This is a wand energy. Wands are about action. They're about motion and passion and having inspiration, okay? Yeah, stand your ground. Number seven, luck. Wonderful things are about to happen to you. This is also uh, Leo, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So, so far we have two energies in here. We have our um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could be for you guys, or this could be for my Leos, my Saggies, and my Aries, okay? And now we need to work on our sacral chakra. So there's two chakras that we're looking into. We're looking into your base of your navel spine, that's your root chakra, and now we're looking at your sacral, which this one is slightly below your the navel. So I would say to take in some calcite. Um, this has to this helps your creativity, this helps, this can boost your confidence, your sexuality, your dependence. And yeah, this is why. Once you work, once you balance your root chakra and you balance your sacral, you're good. You're not going to be dependent towards anything or anyone anymore. So that's a really good sign. Perhaps you guys are having some issues and emo you have your guys are having an emotional imbalance. I'm sensing, and that's why we picked we picked up this uh, two of swords here. Okay. All right, spirit. Can we please find out what? What lessons are going to be prominent for any signs today it's gonna to, there's gonna be some failure involved i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn also the envy card i am the same as everybody but with different challenges guys that's really important to know we are the same we're all on our different are on a different life path and it's true we're all expressions of love we should not um compare each other that's that right there is not following the path of least resistance. It's only going to cause fear, and that is all an illusion. It's all make-believe. Okay, I'm going to put these away. Let's see what other oracle messages we have for my readers. Let's see what's going on. What are the messages, Spirit? What are the messages we have? Thank you. Nice. Freedom. Truth. And gateway. Yeah, once you release, once you balance out that whatever emotional imbalance you guys are currently facing, but you need to, you guys have to heal yourself. Once you release that negative drama that whatever doesn't serve you guys anymore, you're going to be able to live a happily and ever life. It'll be, you're going to say to yourself, I am able, to, I am to live happily ever after. I want it, I can expect it. For now on, moving forward, it is your dominant intention to feel the way I want to feel, period. Okay, and that's going to release. There's truth coming in. There's going to be freedom. Ah, that's nice. Okay. All right, let's see here. Well, I think that that's, I think that's, I think that we're done, yeah? I think that there's plenty of guidance in here. I mean, there's, you guys need to understand that when you make a mistake, it's only an opportunity for growth. Growth, growth, growth. When you evolve you're good okay also let go of that relationship whatever doesn't serve you let go okay let go that mental conflict that difficult choice perhaps it's going to come in soon these are day-to-day -day stuff and by the way if it's if it is this sword energy and it is a difficult choice guess what anything air is fast okay so it's gonna you're, you're not even gonna feel it you're not even gonna feel it. You got the sun card. There's t t there's tons of fun for you. Tons of success. There's a lot of happiness I see for you now in April and so on. And I think that there's the Empress card. There's plenty of abundance. Perhaps you're gonna uh, you're gonna maybe become pregnant or I don't know. You're expecting now or something in that regard. I don't know. Abundance can be can come in any shape, way, or form. Think about that. Also, uh, yeah, you have, uh, you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, don't forget that. It's very positive for you. Alrighty then, well, I'm gonna end this reading now and um, 
Let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps my channel. And if you also would like to help, um, help build my channel, um, there's a, uh, donations are greatly appreciated. My uh, information, everything is in, included in the description box below, guys. I'm sending everyone watching this video love and light to you. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>